really on spec. Really on spec. Here's Neil F4. fixing now. Oh, uh, we don't need to show this part. <laughs> John here, guys. Today we're talking about Freedom Spec, Freedom Spec Racing. That's right, Freedom Spec is taking Houston by storm. And spec racing is essentially everybody using the same piece of gear or racing craft. You've all probably seen spec racing in the automotive side. If you've ever seen something like NASCAR, where every car is the same, they're all working with the same equipment, and the goal is to bring everybody technically on the same level so that the winner comes out by skill and skill alone. So in drone racing, it's been done a few ways over the years. This is the latest flavor. There is a Freedom Spec, which involves using any frame, but you have to use the 533 heads up motors. That ends up working out pretty well because most of the top racers are using that motor already. Um, then there is a spec prop, a spec weight. And when I heard about this, I really wasn't that excited. One, because I didn't fly those motors and i was just like you know what is this is this just like a ploy to get people to buy that gear i was like freedom it sounds like the kind of freedom that they were handing out in braveheart what about the other manufacturers right But it turns out, I think I was a little bit wrong. I actually caught Yvonne and Neil, who are the 10th and 19th ranked pilots on the global worldwide leaderboards right now. Let's hear them talk about Freedom Spec. Like really, like you have just more time to enjoy the race here. Yeah. yeah. That's true that you have to work much harder on your lines. Like you know, NASCAR, it's kind of help, yeah. Because, oh yeah. The battery's cheap? Yeah, well, like the cheapest, like I thought, is like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. That's but cheap. they're out of stock. We haven't been yeah. able to buy those. So we, we, buy yeah, we, had to, we had to buy $20, but it's still cheaper. Yeah, yeah look at the 3S, just like that. Two, 2300 or 2200. 25C. Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, these are 45. Yeah, these are 45. Oh, but yeah, but yeah, what? Yeah. You but got what, the good shit. Yeah, but what everybody else. So, yeah. like, it's not a spec battery. It's just a spec uh, cell count and then a weight. But but honestly, like I think 25C also should be enough because they're not struggling. Like you yeah. discharge it in three four minutes. Yeah. The amperage is really small. That's you a know? good goggle battery too. Oh well, yeah, that's yeah. why I was like excited. Like I already use it. It fits nice in the pocket. Like yeah. And also yeah. So so you have to work on your lines much harder because with a fast quad you have you you know you have power to correct yourself. Yeah. With this quad, if you're like too much throttle before the turn, you're like half mile orbit you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's good so he's like you really need to pre-turn and it's harder i think it helps a lot with like a open class too like i think so lot. even yeah. cole was saying that like that he went slower and then from going slower he was able to see lines in the track that he yeah. couldn't see before like that he was able to see us do but he couldn't see how he could do it oh he put his best lap on freedom spec that's true too he best lap of the whole day was on freedom spec yeah mm -hmm. faster than success yeah yeah because he wasn't blowing out yeah. turns. For well, in the long run, it will because it's going to help yeah. you find lines and like and learn how to properly break into a turn because like you have to break going into the. Yeah, turn. But even for yeah, experienced yeah, pilots, it's like because you change something. Can it's you like you know when you do <laughs> workout on the same <laughs> muscle over and over. Yeah. At some point, it becomes almost useless. Yeah, and yeah. You need to change something a little bit, and then it's it helps you a lot. You know. Yeah. I guess like, it's like putting power car or something yeah, yeah. So it's just too much yeah. you just can't yeah yeah just battling the power right from the handle. yeah 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 i mean i constantly do that though like i just want to full throttle every time there's like yeah. 10 feet i, in I row, saw your video like, yeah. yeah you're just like the same as cole like when you when you, <laughs> you, when, go you fast. when you see a gate you just i, I just full throttle it's the <laughs> gate i'm excited i'm gonna go through and then let's see what happens. And then yeah. you're, you go through the gate. Like, All right, where's next? <laughs> Where are my next entertainment? Here, here, up oh, there. The flag. Bam! Yeah, yeah, and that just makes you worse, like because you can't ever get a hold of all that power. So it takes you longer to be able to understand what you need to do to control it. So I guess it's the same. Um, Freedom spec. When you're 
We're doing a spec. Exactly. But this is just like three times the throttle cap I'd ever tell you to put on. It's just like way more, you know? Yeah. It's almost principle. like 50% throttle. Something yeah, like about this. like yeah. that. Sure. And it was three minutes? How long did it last? Well, like, yeah, I can fly three minutes. Yeah, but we were just flying five lap races. Yeah, we just and they're like, Which has never happened. Yeah, like, five lap like 30, like, Our fastest laps were like 28 yeah. and 27 seconds. So that's a long race. Like, yeah. Five laps of 28 seconds. Yeah, you enjoy seconds. every moment of it. Yeah. Like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, we oh, should yeah, ask yeah. Cole when he gets here, but Cole was like, damn, that was awesome to watch because, yeah. like, we were able to stay together for, like, so long, you know? So could we yeah. approximate it if everybody just got three S packs or four S packs? We can, yeah, of course. It's like, you know, the thing is, like, when there are pilots very close, like me and Neil, it really takes into, like, account, like, that one quad will be a little bit faster, you know? So we even, between me and Neil, we even, because Neil's squad is a little bit heavier and we even like wait at them and try to like put some extra shit on my quad so that w they weigh the same, you yeah. know. Because even uh, 20 grams will make a difference. Yeah. But if pilots are like further away, like with a skill level, it doesn't really matter. Well, we were even talking with Shames because Shames helped like develop all this. And we were saying, well, we we're doing Freedom Spec, but our whole, everybody in Houston runs the Gim Fan props. So yeah. like we're just doing like doing it on our props, right? And yeah. he was like, well, that's cool. It doesn't really matter, right? The principle is that, that we're trying to get everybody on as close to the same quad as possible. Yeah. And then and then so like you're running the same motors, the same battery, and still the same prop, just a different prop. So like yeah. you guys are achieving the spirit of of what's being done. Yeah. Even know, though like maybe like true for. freedom spec is maybe a little bit slower, a little bit faster, you know. Yeah. So if Neil Okay, so you didn't do it exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, you know, like you're close we, enough. We still, we still had like a, it's it's very low speed, you know, and me and Neil had still like about exactly the same quad, you know. Yeah. It's exactly fun. same slow quad. That's well, the goal. Yeah, we're gonna do it tonight. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm do excited. It. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So <laughs> would it be like so when y'all are flying with us like in Sportsman class, would yeah. it make sense for us to like run 4s? Yeah, I had to order. Well, that really, way, um. Who was it? Who was it? Uh, a couple of guys ran 6S heats with us. Yeah. And then we were basically mm. running the same, the same Indeed, time yeah. because like we were holding our lines together and everybody else was faster, like catching us on the speedaway, but like, yeah. But then blowing out turns and we. Were, uh, it all depends on the skill. So yeah. even 6S, yeah. you'll still beat us. <laughs> well, no, it I don't depends think so. on the skill. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, like we wouldn't be able to beat people pretty close to us. Yeah. But maybe really far back, maybe what about so. Matt? Would Matt? No, Matt would be. Yeah, no, no way. We can yeah. beat Matt now. Yeah. Matt also took the rank, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Because one of those rounds, he was doing sixes while y'all were on three. Ends. Oh, yeah. And then I could see him, like, you know, like. <laughs> it also depends yeah. on the track, you know, because if the track is very tricky, then, yeah. you know, three S is basically almost all you need. But yeah. if, if they're like straight away punch, like here, we have a, a lot of like straight punches, pretty fast, like where you full throttle, like. Then of yeah. course you you're gonna be slow on the freedom spec a lot slow. Jake flew last time. Uh, we flew velocidrome. Right right. What happened? Huh? Yeah. Uh, well, like, well, like, well, like, well, because of velocity. <laughs> he broke nothing. Yeah, broke nothing. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Well, same for freedom spec. You almost don't break anything, you know. Regular, it's a regular freedom spec, spec version of open racing. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I I need to make it a little bit heavier because this is. 10 grams on oh, 10 man. grams underweight. Now you're just bragging. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Are you convinced yet? Now that you've heard it, come along with us for the track walk. That is where we walk the route of the track. The track designer, Neil, in this case, tells us each way to go. If you've ever wondered how we know where to go on the track, this is how you... Yeah. Here's the timing system. Check that out, boys. Down, down into this mode. Up and over. Split us this tree. Okay. And we're going to come back through this gap right here. Yep. We're come around the pole. Yep. And back down through this gap. Yep. 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 I like it. And then you go around the pole. Come back. Okay. When you're late for track walk, you gotta drive the track walk.
Yeah, there's a lot of quick. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah. so what yeah. the Oh, they come back around the flag. No, no, no. Yeah. So after this, they were taking up collections for another Freedom Spec round of battery purchases. I went ahead and put myself down for two, so I'm gonna be trying it very soon. If you like this type of content, racing, race vlogs, or Freedom Spec in general, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Um, I believe we're gonna have a lot of racing Freedom Spec going on. There's sites all around the country. If you're in any of these cities, Try to get over there to one of these Freedom Spec races. I'm probably not gonna do the exact spec, um, but I am gonna try the battery so that I can see how it feels and I'll make another video when that time comes around. So stay tuned. Here's some head-to-head -head racing action footage between Yvonne and Neil who you saw earlier um, on the track. They are really, really loving this type of racing. Uh, one thing that I was hoping that Freedom Spec or Spec Racing in general would achieve would be to pull all of the talent pools closer together. I was curious to see if it was going to disrupt the ranking in the end. Pretty much lately these days we have Yvonne coming in first, Neil coming in second, Matt if he's there coming in third. Um, and if you we all race Freedom Spec, you're going to have that same order of ranking so it doesn't change that but it does put everyone closer together it makes it a little bit slower so it's a little bit more fun to watch as they mentioned and it also makes you see those people you're racing it against more frequently on the course i will say that it is a lot more exhilarating whenever you're actually passing someone back and forth back and forth it's kind of like whenever we used to throw on the old boxing gloves and knock each other around as teenagers if you were against somebody that was way higher in skill against you, it wasn't that fun because you were just going to get knocked to the ground. And it's kind of the same way in drone racing. So, And let me know if you actually like this comment in the description below uh, if you want me to keep making more of this race vlog footage. I didn't think anybody actually watched it, but I think I was wrong. I'm having a good response to this. So keep letting me know if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I finally remembered the LED props. Got them? Yeah, but they don't come with batteries. I just figured out right now. God damn. What God the damn. hell? It took me three weeks to remember to bring these to the nice spot. I know. Like, I'm still, I, there's like a hundred pieces in this little thing that you got to put together. And is. then there's no batteries. It is. Yeah, yeah that's not good.
price I'm willing to pay.